everyone today we're going to be doing something a little bit different shout out to James and Chloe for the tag today we're going to be looking at the my top five Pokemon trading cards they don't have to be you know super rare but five cards that mean a lot to me I've been having really great time looking through all the videos in this tag I'll link to the playlist down in the description if you want to take a look it's for absolutely anyone to take part in so yeah it it took me a while to think of my top five cards so I'm a little bit late with my submission but I think I think I found the five cards that mean the most to me starting off with a English card what's gonna be and this is this is another reason why I've not um, done this yet because of my focusing issues with my camera but I am going to get a new camera soon hopefully so my first card is Charizard now yes this is the uh, evolutions one number number 11 sorry it's I mean everyone wants that shiny Charizard don't they like I never had uh, the base set card and I pulled this at internationals in London last year me and a few friends went splits on a booster box and this is what I got from my pulls and you can you can check out my internationals vlog um, I even I even swore when I uh, pulled this um, one of yeah one of my biggest reactions pulling a TCG card for a while so yet yeah, I do have a little bit of a soft spot for this one I got the card that I wanted from evolutions it's all good I do love this card so I'll pop that one back there going through another another new card here is the team skill grunt uh, one of the full arts that I pulled in fact I think it was the only full art I pulled I might have forgotten from the Sun and Moon booster box uh, I love Team Skull. I think they are crazy. Um, <sighs> focus. I need this video to focus more than most. It's just... Yeah. 149 out of 149. One of my favourite full art cards. I love the colours. I love the pose. I'm just so pleased out of all the uh, full arts. I could have pulled I got the one I wanted yeah I I know boring new card but it's still one of my favorite full arts of all time now we're getting a bit old old school now um, in a really battered old penny sleeve that I don't even know where I got this penny sleeve from it's not 1996 copyright on the back old school Japanese card it is the ho -Oh. now I think my memory is a little I don't know this is must have got this in like 2001 went to a music festival with my dad and they were selling Japanese booster cut booster packs um, I must have begged him for some money to buy one and this was inside I think it's the first card that had three attacks the first ho -Oh shiny I don't know it's um it's actually in pretty good condition I took out the penny sleeve before recording and for a really old card it's probably one of the better condition cards I have remaining from when I was a child and so that point I don't have a lot of cards remaining from when I was little because I got rid of them all apart from the odd few and Team Rocket set more on that later so I don't know what happened with the other Japanese cards from this pack but I have treasured this card for quite some time so back that goes and going on to Team Rockets we have the 83 out of 82 Dark Raichu 
Now, somehow I've managed to get two of these. I was just uh, taking these out of my binder, so I'm not sure if this is the one that I bought in the cloakroom at school for a pound when Pokemon cards were banned. Bit of dodgy dealings in the cloakroom. So, you see that shine? It's not in the best condition. Well, not this one anyway. I haven't had a look at the other one in my binder. But, I don't know. I just remember getting this card in the cloakroom at school when Pokemon cards were banned. And I collected the Team Rocket cards. This is the only set I kept hold of from being a child. And... I don't know why I like the Team Rocket cards so much, but they're the only set I wanted to get. I've only got, I'm only missing 10. I will get, I will complete that set one day, but yeah, t this is one of few cards I have left, like the Ho-Oh. So yeah, and it was 83 out of 82, like those, those secret rares, this must be like one of the first, if not the first, from an English set to, you know, have that number more than the set. So I thought that was a super big deal at the time. Now, my rarest card, well, not really that rare of a card, but there's something on it that just means the world to me. It's my Black Star promo Mew signed by Ken Sugimori himself. <sighs> I have no words. Right. So I was lucky enough about, was it five years ago? Five, six years ago, I forget, to go to the Black and White premiere launch in London. And Ken Sugimori was there along with Junichi Masuda and I asked if he would sign my Mew card obviously this is his artwork as well and he did and this is it um I don't know why I cho chose Mew I guess this is probably one of my last promos that I had with his artwork on it but, I mean the card itself is in really bad condition um you can't really see it with the sleeve on it but the card is pretty creased up. I don't even know how I got this card in my collection. But I just panicked. I had to, I think I only had like two days notice. I was like, oh, what do I want him to sign? And this was it. And, you know, Ken Sugimori doesn't make too many public appearances. So I'm, I'm so happy with this. He did also sign my um, Pokemon Nintendo DSi. I don't think he's done like any of many um, public events since, not to my knowledge anyway, but this card, I mean Ken Sugimori as well, the artist, big inspiration to me to draw, I would draw Pokemon and anime, manga style drawings all the time growing up, so he's a massive inspiration for me to pick up pen and paper, and yeah, so this this card is my gold dust. It's not a particularly rare card, but that signature just <sighs> means the world. So that was my five Pokemon trading card game cards. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite card is of my top five. Let me know what your personal top five is. Check out the other videos in the tag. Shout out to James and Chloe. <laughs> See you guys next time.